One of the things with ocean energy is it's widespread around the world. It's a largely untapped resource at this point in time. It's a renewable energy which is sustainable and this represents an opportunity for people to harness this untapped resource to contribute to the energy requirements of the future. What GRS are proposing is to combine the wave energy systems with the offshore wind. The wind turbines have been used offshore for a large number of years, but those wind turbines need foundations. So instead of building a separate structure to support the oscillating water column structures and a separate structure to support the wind turbine, you have one structure which combines the support for both and then that should uh, reduce the overall cost and increase the, the economic viability of the system. The project is being co-funded by uh, the Irish government through Science Foundation Ireland Centre Marai here in the Bowfoot building. In this facility we have the opportunity to test a number of different scales of device from small scale up to relatively large scale before you go into the open sea. GRS have been going through a very rigorous process of testing and development at every stage doing numerical modelling and making sure everything they're doing is checked off before they move on to the next stage. Behind me is a 1 to 16th scale model of the GRS system with the oscillating water columns, the black chambers, which is open in part to the ocean underneath the surface. The chamber also contains an air volume and this air volume is compressed by the wave action with the water inside forcing the air out through a turbine like a pump really pumping air through a turbine which then spins to generate electricity. The GRS system is, a, is what's called a gravity system so it's a rather heavy structure which sits on the seabed under its own weight and resists the forces in that way. So there's no real drilling into the seabed or disruption of the seabed apart from the structure sitting on top of the sand. The system itself then is located in relatively shallow waters. Any servicing will be relatively easy to undertake, but also then it becomes rather environmentally friendly in the fact that it doesn't have moving parts in the ocean and it won't then interact in a negative way with the environment. What GRS have done by going through a rigorous development process is they understand the parameters of their technology. So that means that they can redesign or rescale the device for any particular place that they go to. But what's interesting for this type of technology is that there are subsidies and there are benefits that this type of technology can access that other types of technology can't. The return on investment and the IRR are much better because of these subsidies. So it makes more financial sense to invest in this type of technology rather than something else.